But first tonight, the disturbing stickers threatening Afghan refugees who are expected in Michigan by the end of the month. Good evening to you and welcome to 7 Action News at 11. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Brian Abel. So-called hunting permits targeting the refugees were found on the University of Michigan campus. 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javed is in Ann Arbor tonight with the community's concerns and who's blamed for the cold-blooded message. University of Michigan students in Ann Arbor are appalled to see stickers like these floating around on campus, credited to Proud Boys, calling for hunting of Afghan refugees. As a Jewish student and as a woman, I am really hurt and offended. It looks like a, like a wanted sign to me. I haven't seen any around, but if I did see that, I'd probably be in shock. It's not something you see every day, and it's not something that anyone should be seeing. A senior at the university, Mohammed Darwish, spotted several of the Afghan refugee hunting permits around the East Liberty area of the campus. It was pretty uncomfortable for us because we're of um, we're Lebanese American and we're uh, Muslim American, so those two identities typically, uh, I, I would say, are identities that feel targeted by the Proud Boys. I am hoping nothing goes wrong, but I definitely think that this makes the Ann Arbor a little unsafe. As per a statement posted on Telegram by Proud Boys Michigan Chapter, they acknowledge the stickers were placed by former members. It reads, they don't seem to realize that the majority of these refugees were fighting on our side and are fleeing the depredations of the Taliban. The group also recognizes that a government should do its due diligence in vetting newly arrived refugees. Meanwhile, CARE Michigan's staff attorney Amy Ducare says the anti-immigrant feeling is being instigated by political pundits on TV and their views on Afghanistan. It is like stoking up this anti-Muslim sentiment. And because it's so prevalent on some of our um, more conservative news stations, they, uh, these people feel emboldened to, to put these flyers out and to really espouse this hateful and, and violent rhetoric. Now, Amy says that as disgusting as these stickers might be, they unfortunately may be legal as per the First Amendment. But since they were posted on campus, the University of Michigan has the right to remove them and make sure that such hate does not spread further. From Ann Arbor, for Ask Javid, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so 